Hello everyone, my name is Victor. Today I'm going to show you one of our favorite breads at home. So this is pretzels. So I'm going to show you the ingredients. So we, we have uh, bread flour, we have water, yeast, and we have milk or buttered milk you can use. We have uh, olive oil. We have a combination of light brown sugar and granulated sugar. Now, to get started, we have to let the uh, yeast dissolve in the warm water. I'm going to leave it here for 5 minutes. So dissolve the yeast in your warm water. Just want to make sure that it's all mixed in well. And then we're going to transfer it into our mixing bowl. So now we're going to mix all our ingredients in here. So I'm going to start with, uh, I used milk. So we're going to add the milk. We're going to add the, uh, the two sugars, so granulated and the brown sugar. Then I'm going to add the olive oil. Just gonna stir this. Then we're gonna add the flour. We're also gonna add the salt. It's almost smooth, but we need to uh, make it a little bit more elastic. So transfer the dough into a lightly floured board. Then form it into a bowl. Then we're going to proof these dough in an oil bowl. Just make sure there's oil all over the dough. Cover it with saran wrap and let it proof until it's double. This takes about one hour. So we doubled the recipe on this video. So I'm gonna reserve half of the dough for other purpose. So again, make a bowl and reserve it. It's actually better if you keep it in the fridge for a few minutes so it will be easier to roll. So now roll the dough into 6 by 6 square just so you have sort of an even portion. So cut it in half and then into 4 and then each quarter will get 3. So you can make 12 small pretzels out of the batch or 6 big pretzels. Roll each piece of dough into a 14 inch long rope and form it into a pretzel. Put each pretzel into a piece of parchment paper so it's easier to pick up when it's time to poach them. So to make the poaching liquid, bring two quarts of water into a simmer, then add the beer, mix your brown sugar, stir that well so the sugar is dissolved. You're gonna let it simmer and you're going to add your baking soda. So 
So once, our, once your poaching liquid is simmering, add your pretzel two at a time so it's not crowded. It will take about 10 seconds on each side. Flip it and then put, transfer it into another tray. After poaching, brush it with olive oil all around, then add your coarse salt on top. Bake the pretzels at 375 degrees for 15 to 20 minutes or until it's golden brown. So this is our homemade pretzels. We intentionally make it small so it's uh, more people could share. Let's try. I'm speechless, very good. So this pretzel is really good. You should try this at home. And if you like our video, please give us a thumbs up, please subscribe, and hit that notification button for more videos. See you soon.